no time to create the cover um, and for that we need to create a new document so file new document and then when this loads up on screen um, we're going to have this set to a print document of course um, we can start off with a4 and then up at the top we're going to call this uh, tab oops tab underscore cover underscore zero one uh, now again the width is going to be exactly the same again so it's going to be uh, a width of uh, 222 millimeters with a height of 285 millimeters now we're going to set this to be two pages and then I'm going to turn on the preview checkbox so that you can see the document appear in the background and notice that we've got facing pages turned on we've got two pages but we're starting on page one which means that these two are going to be split in here we don't want that we want them to be connected together so if I set this to be starting on page two and then click in a different field, it joins them together. Brilliant. Um, I am going to um, set the column gutter in there to be 4.233. I am just going to have one column um, and then just drag this dialog box down lower and then margins. They are all going to be linked together and then I'm going to change those to four millimeters and hit the tab key on the keyboard to update them all. So you can see we got a very narrow border around the outside of those pages in there. Uh, bleed and slug, of course, that's going to be set to three millimeters for the bleed. No need for a slug in this case. And then with that done, I can click on create. Um, so there we have that's the cover design. I will go to file and I'm going to choose save as back to the desktop, take a break and then save that in the main project folder. I'm going to go to the layers panel. Double click to the side of the uh, name and call this images. Set the color to be red. Click OK. Then go down and Alt and left click on the new icon. Text, leave it set to light blue. Click OK. And then from here, we're in a good position to start adding content in there. So file and then choose save once more. 